All right, uh, time to go see if I can put this kit on. One thing I missed in the unboxing was it even has some uh, thread adapters, which is totally awesome. I presume this is for different, uh, obviously, hose threads on the kit, but we'll see if I need them or not. But let's go see if we can put this thing together. All right, so here's the uh, original top link uh, that came on the tractor. Let's give this thing a whirl. I'm going to quick look at the manual on these top three hole adjustments, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, the middle one is made for the majority of things, and I think the top one is for really heavy implements, and the bottom is for lighter duty implements. Figure out which one I'm going to put it on. All right, so the first issue is that, uh, which is interesting because these are each, each category two. This is a two and this is a two, but uh, both of these bushings are a little too wide. Uh, I mean, this is a class one, so that's expected on the iMatch. I, I figured that, but up here, it should have went right in. But it does not fit, even though they're both class two. So I got to grind down this bushing, and the same thing on this end, grind this down. And I also need some spacer bushings in here. The top one looks like it's going to be the right size bushing or pin, I should bushing say. Bushing receiver, but this one I'm going to need to find some bushings to reduce down to this pin right here. Like so. I do have bushings in my shop, but may not have the right one. So we'll Alright, another thing that you want to do while you're in here. My opinion, anyways, is uh, these bottom pins here are float adjustments. So in other words, this is how it came from the factory. The way it's set up right now, you see this slot here? This thing can't slide up and down when you go over bumps. Okay, this is important in hill country, especially like for bush hogs. Anyways, uh, okay, so the way it comes set up like that is it's rigid. Your implement cannot follow the the contour of the terrain it, it just can't so in other words if you come over a, a hill that's like this this side of your implement is going to scrape that ground instead of being able to float over it all right so this is how it comes from the factory so it can't float so you all you do is you pull it out and you switch it to this position all right so now as your implement follows the ground, it, it has some room to float up and down. And then there's a little piece on this side as well. So that's what, I mean, in my opinion, most applications you should have it on float. I'm sure there's uh, farming applications and such where you want that rigid, but like plowing maybe, but for what I use mostly for, and I'm going to guess most of you guys, I keep that on float position. I mean, this here could have been what broke my two-row planter. Um, think of it this way. You know, if your two-row planter is floating along the ground and you got a bump on this side or a, or a stump or something that it needs to go over, but it can't. So, in other words, it's going to hold this thing flat like this. Even though it's trying to raise off of the ground... On one side is not going to so that could have been what uh, broke the welds on and I meant to change that and I forgot early on so now I got them both flipped so that this thing can your implements can float both directions just like this okay I finally got them ground down to where they fit in the each of the slots okay but now the problem here is that the actual end of the unit is too big so it's hitting right there on the top doesn't matter which one of these holes I put it in so in other words I need to grind that down also a little bit um, that's the problem with all these tractor manufacturers aftermarket things a cat 2 is not a cat 2 is not a cat 2 everything has different tolerances, different variances. I mean, I've owned four different tractors now and I've used the fifth and I see this all the time. Uh, it's frustrating, but 
linkages and stuff like this are not uniform. I don't care what any expert says. From tractor to tractor to tractor, there will be variances. That's all there is to it. All right, I knocked off some of the bottom and the end. I doubt it's gonna be enough. Uh, this is some pretty good steel because it's really hard grinding down. And the one I ordered, I mean, it, it boasted about the higher quality components. So I'll give this a try and see if it fits, but this is what I was getting at, it was too big. And I have to grind off enough so that it can swivel without causing friction on here, which would then cause friction, more friction than need be on the whole joint. Alright, it's uh, 1 o'clock and they still haven't even started the lawn yet. I do try to tell these guys that I am a shit magnet and they don't believe me until afterwards. But like the generator, that's finally fixed. Um, but it was the dumbest thing. His uh, ohm meter was bad. And I told him, I said, man, I'm telling you, ever since the days in police work, I get into the worst predicaments. It's just like bad luck follows me around. So anyways, it's hey, 1 p.m. Hey, Capper here, and it's, uh, it's now 5.30 p.m. on the 6th. And I've been all over town. I went to five different stores looking for these. Uh, I went to both tractor shops. Neither of them had them. I went to an agriculture store. They didn't really have parts. I went to the hardware store. I went to Napa. And the last place, thank goodness, was bumper to bumper. They were a lifesaver. I bought the last two they had just to have an extra one in stock. Uh, but this is the bushing that I needed. It's, this is a really rare one. It's like a half to seven eighths or a, a seven eighths to one, something like that. But it, it takes basically your standard hitch pin and it makes it fit inside the category two um, top link, the hydraulic top link. So without this, I couldn't put that project together. The lawn, yeah, nothing happened, no show. Long story, man, but it's just no show. All day, I've been waiting here all day. Yep, we'll be there. Yep, we'll be there. Yep, we'll be there. Nothing. That stuff happens down here, like I've said. I wasn't just making it up. But anyways, it'll happen at some point. But this is where I am right now. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this project or not just yet. But this little bushing, and that's why I bought an extra one. This one is hard to find. If anyone has been in this position, I know a lot of guys say, you know, um, Rural King has them, and they do have a selection, but they have all of the stock standard ones. And I'm telling you, these are harder to find. So be that as it may, I've got one, and it's time to finish up the toppling project, either now or in the morning.